Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, lady. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. What about you? Uh, yes, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Okay, are you ready for the class? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. How do you feel the speaking part? Um, this was a part that was kind of easy and difficult at the same time, but was interesting working on that part because now we can know what are the things that we need to move in course and to study more. Yes, exactly. So uh, I don't know if you have practiced also the writing. Did you work in the platform already? I was checking the platform and trying to get familiar with the, with the content and the exercise that we're going to do. Mm -hmm. I was uh, checking that we have to write uh, an essay. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of a little difficult. Actually, it's not that difficult because it's just writing, right? It's like, uh, it's very yeah. similar to when you speak, right? Like when they when they ask you, what do you think about this? Or what do you understand about this? And then you just need to provide a, a response. The yeah. only difference is that it's going to be written. That's the only difference. But it's very similar. You don't have to investigate anything or you don't have to like use like a sorry very complicated uh vocabulary but it's just uh, almost the same but it will be just written good evening let's see i think that marielos is connecting right now good evening marielos how are you good evening teacher i'm fine thanks how about you I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for asking. And uh, did you check the writing? Because this week we finished, right? This is the last week and we finished with the writing section. Yes. So did you check the writing in the platform already? Uh, only one paragraph. Only, <laughs> only one only paragraph. One, yes. Okay, yeah, we are going to check that right now. And I guess that someone from the group left uh but i didn't know who that person was like someone from the group said I, I won't continue with this class because i need more like to to prepare more with language but i don't know i i, I don't know if it was uh, miguel or someone else i don't know if you know that but the, the classes, um, we have the classes all the week. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why. Yes. Um, yes. Until, until uh, Friday, because um, I suppose that um, on Wednesday, we, we will, won't have classes. Yes. I, I, guess, uh, I guess tomorrow we won't have classes, right? Really? Tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow is tomorrow's day, right? Or is no, on Wednesday? No, not Wednesday. Some Wednesday. Some Wednesday. Let me see here. Yes. Tomorrow is November 1st. Tomorrow is so like day. a normal day. Yes. So day Wednesday. November 2nd. November. Uh, yes, because I was confused because I didn't know if it was on the 1st or on the 2nd. But so you said that it's on the 2nd, right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to check that. Okay, so uh, tomorrow we will have classes. Okay, okay. So I just wanted to make sure about that because I was kind of confused. Okay, I was kind of confused. Uh, good evening, Katya. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, are you prepared for the writing skill after the the speaking? Uh, more or less teacher yes right <laughs> more or less why more or less you have to say yes right okay yes <laughs> yes i am prepared yes because it is the same i was explaining lady that is the same the way that we you are going to be asked in the in the writing they are not going to ask you 
write about this topic or write about that topic. You don't need to know about anything. It's like uh, the, the speaking part is the same, but the difference is that you are going to write your response that is going to be a little bit longer, right? Because they will give you like 30 minutes for you to write it. So that's it. And you to check the words. Um, this uh, TOEFL, also lady was asking me, are, are we going to check grammar or are we going to check like some patterns or anything? Supposedly with uh, this level, for example, you are or, uh, in advance or you already passed the advanced level, uh, we shouldn't be uh, like, we can review things, right? If you ask me, right, I would like to check this kind of tense or this kind of question. Yes, right. We can check it. I can look for that information, but we are not going to check uh, check it because supposedly you already know all of the grammar rules. You know how to speak. You know how this is just like a preparation for the test, right? So we are preparing for your for this kind of test that is kind of uh, difficult. In this part, for example, in the writing section, this will be, um, well, I don't know if it will be easier for you, but this will be the last one that you are going to to have in the exam. So at this time, you will be kind of tired, right? Because you will have the reading, then the listening, then the speaking, and then the writing. The writing, you will be like, oh my God, <laughs> I cannot do it in, after three hours, right? So you will feel like the rush, like I, I want to go, I want to finish this because that's that's all right. So that's what we are going to do right now. Uh, also in the presentation, I already shared the presentation of the speaking part. So if you can check it, you can review it and you can get all the links there. And I will share this presentation and also more information about um, the reading and I'm sorry, the speaking and the writing, okay? Also, the ETS, ETS.org, ETS is the company that creates the, um, the TOEFL. They create the TOEFL. They have different tools also. And we are going to check right now um, what are they going to talk about, right? These are in the platform. We have also recommendations, right? I don't know if you have checked the videos already. Did you check them? Yes. These videos They're about the writing section. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Also, uh, this is really informative, really important, right? So you can get like more information about this. I don't know if you can listen to the video. The writing section of the TOEFL test measures yes, your ability right. to write a standard yes. academic yes. English. There are two tasks of writing on the TOEFL test, one integrated and one independent. Okay, did you investigate about the integrated and independent question? No? no? Okay, that's what we're going to check right now. We're going to begin with the independent question, okay? And these are just some uh, advice, right? We'll now go over the last section of this course one, the writing section. Here we'll study challenges of writing, about the writing section, a type of question, writing practice. Okay, so we're going to have this. Uh, let me see here. What else do we have here? So challenges of writing. Let's see. To overcome the challenge of writing, you need to practice writing essays, organizing your ideas, and increasing your skills in using sentence structures and vocabulary. Okay, so you have uh, written essays before, right? Or paragraphs, at least. You have done that before, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So you wouldn't have any problem with this. So you already know that there is in the first paragraph, it is, there is the introduction about the topic that you are going to talk about. The second paragraph is the body paragraph. You can include two or three paragraphs, like the body, like providing more examples, etc. And the last one is the conclusion, right? Like you conclude everything. So that's it. Let's see. This is, if you check, I will leave the link in the presentation also. If you check, this is the integrated writing. And today and tomorrow, we are going to talk about the integrated, right? Hi, I'm Michael from ETS, and welcome to Inside the TOEFL Test. Today, we're going inside the TOEFL IBT writing section, specifically question one, the integrated writing question. 
in the next few minutes, we're going to look at how the question is structured, how to approach the question, how your response is scored. We'll look at a sample response that received a high score, and we'll give you some tips for improving your writing skills. So here's generally what question one will look like. For this task, you will first read a passage about a topic. Then you'll listen to a short lecture related to the same topic and then you will have 20 minutes to type your response at the computer. There is no maximum length for your response, but typically an effective response has between 150 and 225 words. Now let's look more closely at what the integrated writing question is asking you to do. First, you'll see the reading passage, and you'll have three minutes to read it. So as you read, look for the main idea of the passage and take notes about key points that relate to that main idea. You don't need to memorize the passage because it will reappear on your screen when it's time to write. Next, you'll listen to a lecture. The speaker will talk about the same topic from a different perspective for about two minutes. As you listen, you can take notes on your scratch paper. Listen for information that responds to the points in the reading passage. You will only hear the listening passage once, and when it's finished, the reading passage will reappear on your screen along with the question. And the question will always ask you to summarize the points made in the lecture and explain how they relate to specific points in the reading passage. Okay, very good. So you check that part, right? It's really easy, right? So you are going to read something, then you are going to listen something, and then you need to sum it up, right? You need to tell not your opinion. They are not asking you, what do you think? They are not asking you if you believe it is correct or if it is incorrect. They asking you to sum it up, right? So be be careful with that, okay, with, with the word. So you, are, you, you don't have to understand like or to know technical terms just to understand what they're saying, right? And what you're reading. And what is an important thing that he mentioned? What, what did he mention about the, what is the difference between the listening and the reading? What was the different things? In the, in the writing part, we have to read the passage. Mm -hmm. Then he mentioned that we have to listen. Um, maybe for a two minutes, mm -hmm. uh, the same information from a different perspective. From a different perspective, exactly. So probably in the reading, you are going to say something like, for example, school is positive or homeschooling, right? Homeschooling or to receive classes at school or online is positive because this, you don't have to travel. You have your kids in the school or I'm sorry, in the house. They don't have to travel to the school. So homeschooling is good or online classes is good, right? But in the listening, you are going to uh, listen to or, or something different. In the lecture, they are going to say, this is not a very positive. Homeschooling is not positive because uh, uh, students need to uh, experience different things with classmates. Also, students need to, um, I don't know, uh, do different activities outside the classroom, inside the classroom, not only in the house. So probably you will have two points of view, right? So for, for example, online classes are positive in the reading and in the listening is negative. So that is uh, something that you need to pay attention. So you can contrast, right, the information that you are going to read with the information that you are going to listen, right? You can say, ah, oh, and the reading is saying this, but in the listening or in the lecture, the professor or the teacher is saying this, right? So you can contrast. Very good. Perfect. Let's see what else is having this question. Now that you understand how the question is presented, here are some strategies for what to do as you prepare and write your response. As we mentioned about the reading passage, it's important to identify the main idea, which is usually in the first paragraph and see how it's developed. Usually there will be three points that support that main idea. For this passage about computerized voting, the main idea is stated in the first paragraph. 
It basically says that current voting systems are inaccurate and unreliable and should be replaced by computerized voting systems. You'll find the three supporting points in the next three paragraphs. Computerized voting would reduce the mistakes people make when they vote. It would reduce the mistakes people make when they count the votes. And it isn't any riskier than other widely used electronic transactions, like in banking. In the listening passage, the speaker is going to indicate his or her perspective near the beginning of the lecture, so be sure to listen carefully. In this case, it's clear that the speaker opposes a change to electronic voting. It's doubtful that computerized voting will make the situation any better. Then, when you're taking notes during the listening passage, remember that you're looking for specific points that relate to the points in the reading. These voters can easily cast the wrong vote or be discouraged from voting altogether because of fear of technology. Furthermore, it's true that humans make mistakes when they count up ballots by hand. But are we sure that computers will do a better job? After all, computers are programmed by humans, so human error can show up in mistakes in their programs. And in many voting systems, there is no physical record of the votes, so a computer recount in the case of a suspected error is impossible. As for our trust of computer technology for banking and communications, remember one thing. These systems are used daily, and they are used heavily. But voting happens only once every two years nationally. Finally, and this may sound obvious, make sure you answer the question. The question will always ask you to summarize the lecture, and it will always ask you how the lecture responds to the points made in the reading passage. So if you only write about what's in the reading passage, you're not answering the question. Okay, very good. So he mentioned something important right here, right? That you need to listen. You need to probably add more from what you listen than what you read, right? You can contrast things, but it's better if you uh, take notes. You can take notes and you add more information about the listening, about what they say about. Let's see what else. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how each question is scored. The tasks in the writing section will each be given an overall score from 0 to 5. For question 1, the integrated writing question, raters are looking for three main things. Accurate development, organization, and language use. First, accurate development. The raters are looking for how well you're able to select important information from the lecture, then clearly present it in relation to the relevant information from the reading. Second, Organization. This basically means a reader can read your essay from beginning to end without becoming confused. You can help the reader follow your ideas by writing in paragraphs and using good transitions. And avoid redundancy, which is saying the same things over and over, just using different words. The third criterion is language use. Raiders are looking for things like sentence structure, word choice, and vocabulary. It's also important that your use of grammar is strong and consistent, though it doesn't have to be perfect to get a top score. Now let's look at a sample response to this same question about computerized voting that received a score of 5 on a 5-point scale. This response is very well organized, and it does a very good job of selecting the important information from the points made in the lecture and explaining how the information relates to each of the claims made in the reading passage. First, it says that many voters are unfamiliar with computers, so some voters may end up not voting at all. And this counters the argument that computerized voting is more user-friendly and prevents the voting results from being distorted. Second, it directly challenges the argument that computerized voting will result in fewer miscounts by saying that computer programming errors could result in even larger miscounts or the loss of voting records. Third, it rejects the idea that computerized voting would be similar to computerized banking by pointing out that the computerized banking is only reliable because it is so frequently used, and that does not apply to voting. So overall, the response is well organized, and it shows the writer really understands how to explain the ways in which one source disagrees with another. 
There are occasional minor language errors, like some people are not used of computers instead of some people are not used to computers, and making miscounted two words instead of one. But there aren't very many of these kinds of errors. And most important, they don't make the content of the response unclear or inaccurate. So this response would receive the highest score of five out of five. It's a good example of how your response doesn't have to be perfect to get a high score. For more details about scoring this type of question, look at the integrated writing rubrics. Now here are a few tips that can help you improve your writing skills. First, practice paraphrasing, which is expressing the same idea in different ways. Knowing how to paraphrase is important because it gives you more options when you need to respond to a question. And you can practice paraphrasing just about anything, a news article, a television ad, an email from a friend, a poem, basically anything you read or hear. To be able to paraphrase well and to write well, you need to build your vocabulary. It's important to be able to use synonyms of key words when you write. Next, remember how we said it was important to be able to identify main points? You can practice this by listening to recorded lectures and writing down what the main points are. This is a great activity to do with a study partner because you can compare notes. Here's another tip. Read two articles that are on the same topic and write a summary of each. Then explain the ways in which they're similar and the ways that they're different. There are lots of ways to improve your English skills, but whatever you do, keep practicing. And good luck on your TOEFL test. Okay, that's it. I wanted to play this video at the beginning because he explains very clearly what, what to expect in the first question, okay? So thank you for coming, Miguel, Myra, and Juan Jose. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's see. So today we are going to uh, check only the question where, question one, integrated writing, and question two. What we are going to do is just to... Uh, we are going to start writing right now because we don't have too much time, right? I'm not going to ask you to write like each of you one essay because that would be a lot, right? Uh, a lot of reading. So imagine the, the essay is not short because they will give you 20 minutes for you to write a lot of or around 250 words, right? So you need to write that amount. But I just wanted to to play this video first, just in case. Uh, this is a video for writing. Also, there are videos for listening, speaking, uh, reading, all of all of these uh, recommendations in this page, ets.org. So I will leave um, the link in the presentation, okay? So you can, uh, at the end of the web page or the website, uh, we can, you can find these videos. And they explain to you like every question, right? and some tips also. So you can check that information there. Now, uh, since uh, we are not going to read a lot uh, or you're not going to write a lot, uh, in this case, yes, we are going to uh, work in groups because uh, at, the, at the beginning or prob pre probably previously in the, in the, uh, in the speaking uh, skill, that was kind of difficult because I needed to listen to you individually, right? That's why we were not able to continue in that way because I need to hear Marielos, uh, Katia, Lady, Myra, Miguel. I wanted to hear what you were saying to listen to you. Now, in this case, I guess it will be kind of better for you to share ideas. And we can start with the question number one right now. So we are going to form two groups and the two groups are going to write an essay, right? This kind of essay, the question one essay. Today, we are going to write introduction and one body paragraph tomorrow we are going to write another body paragraph and conclusion okay for the ones who are not here uh, probably we will be able to add them to the groups later we are going to do the same with question number two we are going to explain question number two and then on thursday we are going to write introduction and body paragraph and then on friday the last class we are going to write um body paragraph the second one and conclusion because uh it's different right the question number two this one the independent writing is different from the integrated writing 
So we are going to do that right now. Are you ready to begin? Yes, right. Yes, okay. I'm just right. going. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, don't be afraid because we are practicing. We are. I don't know why. Oh. I, 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 I. Somebody said that the English was not really good, that he was not going to continue or she. I don't know who that person was, but this is practicing, right? Just practice. And if you practice with these tips, you're going to be better. So I'm just going to uh, see here. So the question one is, you remember, you're going to read and you're going to listen the passage, right? And you're going to answer this question. Summarize the points made in the lecture, being sure to explain how they cast doubt on the specific points made in the reading passage. So you have about 20 minutes. You are going to, to have more time. And this will be question two, but question two will be later, okay? So uh, also I will give you a book for you to practice with these kind of things and synonyms and uh, transition words. So I will uh, share that information also at the end of this class. So uh, in this section, it measures, as he already said, the ability to use writing to communicate in an academic environment. There will be two writing tasks. For the first writing task, you will read a passage and listen to a lecture and then answer a question based on what you have read and heard. For the second task, you will answer a question based on your own knowledge and experience. When you see the audio icon, it means that there is an audio version for the text. When you're ready, turn the page to see the directions for the first writing test. So right now we are going to uh, do the first one. You can take notes. Yes, you can take notes, okay? Tomorrow, uh, we will divide the class into two, right? Uh, we will give you some tips about, or I will give you some tips about uh, writing or taking notes. And then the second part of the class, you are going to be writing, okay? So it says, you may take notes during this time after the passages have finished, you will then be asked a question about them. After the question, you have 20 minutes to write your response. Effective responses are usually between 250 to 350 words. You may look at the reading passage and your notes as you write. So you can read and you can check your notes and everything, right? Uh, the only thing that you're not going to be able to listen is the listening because you will listen only one time. Keep in mind that the question will not ask for your opinion. Don't share your opinion in question one, okay? Remember that. Don't say, I agree or I believe or I think. No, don't say that. It's just uh, to sum it up, right? So you have three minutes to read. You may begin reading now. So I will, we're going to start writing question one, okay? writing the essay for question one. Let's see, this is the passage. And I think that you can start re reading right now. If you want to, I can take a screenshot also and I can share it in the WhatsApp group. Is that okay for you? Okay. Okay, I will share it right now. So probably if you have a computer or if you have a, a tablet or you can check it there. So let me see here. You can start reading. You can read right now, uh, but I will sh share it right now in the group. Okay, did you read it? Do you want me to read it or it's okay like that?
Okay, you finished? Yes. Okay, I will show you yes. can have this. You will have this later. You don't have to memorize it. You can take notes. Yes. Uh, because you need to divide, right? The important part or the main ideas that you're going to add to your essay, right? So that's the important thing. I'm going to share this also with the group here in the chat. Well, I guess I cannot share it like as a picture. But anyway, I already, I already shared it to the WhatsApp group. Now we are going to listen. Are you ready to listen? Probably I, we will play this tomorrow, okay? So no worries. We will play this tomorrow and we will listen to it again. But first, remember that you are, we are going to write introduction and first paragraph. That's what I need for today. Get ready to take a complete practice test for the TOEFL writing section. I know you might be Okay, this is the reading that you just read. This is with time. And now we are going to listen to it, okay? We are going to listen to the passage. Now listen to part of a lecture on the same topic you just read about. Many of the areas of cleared land referred to in the reading were once part of rainforest, and this unique ecosystem is in danger of disappearing because of deforestation. Even though there might be some short-term benefits for us today, the author of the reading has not considered the long-term consequences of these reckless actions. In Brazil alone, Nearly 60% of the rainforest has been cut for farming purposes. Even though it's true that the population is rising and there is a demand for more food, there are also alternative ways to farm that do not require such vast areas of land. Hydroponics, for example, is one farming technique that actually requires no soil at all. All the progress humanity has made in technology should not be focused on how to destroy more in less time but on how to preserve what we have while looking at alternatives to outdated practices like traditional farming. Secondly, while it might be lucrative for a few people to make a lot of money on new residential developments, increases in short-term economic prosperity shouldn't be our main concern when considering whether or not to destroy an entire ecosystem. Deforestation displaces all the animals, insects, and plants that live in a forested area. And, more importantly, 28% of the world's oxygen is produced from rainforest ecosystems. That's right, so we cannot be so irresponsible to clear away huge areas of precious rainforest just to make more money. Finally, notice how the countries mentioned in the reading, Brazil, Thailand, and Indonesia, are all developing nations. The workers in the woodcutting industry are paid low wages to carry out dangerous jobs. The woodcutting business doesn't benefit the people, but the small group of business owners who organize these projects. Now, answer the question. Summarize the points made in the lecture being sure to explain how they cast doubt on the specific points made in the reading passage. You have 20 minutes to write. Okay, perfect. So what we are going to do right now is just to create two groups and you are going to begin writing, right? If you have any question, I'll be checking both groups um, just in case, right? 
you have any any doubt or anything, but mostly you are going to do the writing. So I'm going to open right now the two groups. Tomorrow we are going to listen to it again. Okay, uh, the, the listening. And I'm going to write right now the participants. So tomorrow you are going to to work with the same people, okay? Probably for question two, we are going to change, but tomorrow you're going to work with the same people. So, let's see, we have Katia, Lady Marielos, and Sergio. So, Katia, Lady Marielos, and Sergio. You are going to work together and you're going to start writing the first essay, uh, like the introduction and the par and, and the first body paragraph. And Irena, Juan Jose, Myra, and Miguel are going to work together in a group and you are going to start working with the introduction and the first body paragraph, okay? Tomorrow we are going to finish the essay, not today. Tomorrow we are going to finish with the second body paragraph and the conclusion, okay? So I'm going to open right now the rooms and you can start working on them. And tomorrow we are going to give you more information or some tips to keep on writing. You can join right now if you want to. Maybe what we have to do is try to, to say the main ideas. And how, how, how much uh, time do we have? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And the time is oh. running. The time is running. Yeah. Okay. 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 But, um, the, the side, we have to write the side for. Uh, each one, okay, one is correct. The lines, the lines. how many lines? Teacher, teacher doesn't mention. No. He didn't mention. He didn't say. He didn't I'm say. not sure, but maybe five lines. 
games are enough. I, I'm not, I, I don't know. What, what do you think about it? Uh, only in the um, explanation, only said we have to write uh, uh, 300, 350 words. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. But this for, for all for for the complete exercise or just for for the introduction? No, for the complete exercise. Oh okay. Okay. But but uh, but we Is have there... to work in the introduction. Yes, that's okay. the first thing to do to work in the introduction. Okay. Right away. All right, right. We just we have to write one paragraph today and we continue tomorrow with another um, body paragraph and then tomorrow. like to summarize about the, the same topic or it's going to be maybe just an example today from this topic of the presentation and tomorrow we change up. We don't know. But if it is a nice thing, I guess we have to continue working with the same topic. Teachers, we have many questions. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know, we don't know right how here. to begin. Yeah, but first of all, you need to, uh, you're going to write an essay. The essay will have four paragraphs, right? Okay. Intro introduction, first body paragraph, second body paragraph, and conclusion. Okay? So in the introduction, you need to start writing like what you heard, what you understood, right? About the reading and the listening. And then in the body paragraph, you can contrast the ideas or um, like, for example, the, the reading was saying this and this person or the, the teacher was saying that in the recording. And then, so we are going to begin right now to write the introduction in one paragraph. So two paragraphs. That would be um, all that we are going to do right now. Two paragraphs. I need you to write two paragraphs only. Tomorrow, uh, since we are going to have classes, uh, we are going to write other two paragraphs. We are going to finish the essay. And that's it. But you need to share ideas. And one person probably can start writing the essay, right? Like um, sh you can share your screen if you want to. And then, okay, let's start writing this. Okay, what, what do you think about this, right? What do you think about this? Is that okay? Is this okay? What do you have? What do you have on your notes? What do you think it's important, right? What do you have? Uh, okay, I think it is important to mention this, to mention that. So that's how you are going to start writing. It's just an essay, right? I remember that you are going to do it on your own. And I know that it's kind of difficult to coordinate all of the ideas of all of you. But most of, most of all, you need to share uh ideas like to add to the paragraph and you can share right what what's good and what's not okay okay <laughs> okay very good <laughs> only two paragraphs today okay and you have around 15 minutes left 15 minutes left okay yeah i will come back in uh like two and three minutes okay i will check another the other room <laughs> so I propose that we can begin. Uh, I don't know. Uh, somebody. Uh, Logical development and population growth. Uh, greater needs and great profits. Exploiting the needs for business mm -hmm. is is an idea. But... Okay. What do you think, Mayra? Okay, I think it could be deforestation is a benefit uh, for money. Okay. Okay. We have to write the paragraph. Let me check. Um, the the deforestation, deforestation is, I would say, I don't know if it's correct to say is causing or is, is causing or is, is making or is doing, 
I want to say, or I want to write. Uh, la, deforest la deforestación está causando. Caused. Caused. Maybe it will be causing. causing. Is causing or it will be causing? If, if uh, it is the future, will be causing. The deforestation. But the deforestation in this moment, it was caused uh, many. Caused. Something. Causing. Desert something. And then it's causing. Excuse me, could you repeat, uh, please, Juan Jose? Uh, I think that is causing. Causing. But in in this moment, it's causing. If uh -huh. you if you to refer to the future, uh, will be to uh, will will cause it. But I think uh, it's now uh, it's happening now. Yeah, it is cause. It's cause in this moment. Okay. It's cause. But I uh, I don't know if in the uh, paragraph, uh, only we are to study only the paragraph. Um, even if you are agree or not agree about the for the deforestation, because some some part say will some oppose the for deforestation. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I mean, there are many benefits that help improve people's lives. That is true, but in the in the environment. The environment, it's damage. Mm -hmm. I'm confused about it because I understand that the teacher said that we were writing about the introduction of the first body paragraph. But I don't know if we have to discuss or just read and make a writing and tomorrow uh, read. I'm not okay. sure about it. The teacher is not here, right? Yes, I'm here. Ah, teacher. Meaning, oh. <laughs> sorry. So right now? Yes, yeah, sorry. What is your question? Uh, if we need to write down now? Or yes. Or if we need to discuss? Mm -hmm. No, I mean, uh, you are working in group because you need to share ideas. I know it's difficult for you to share ideas and to get into an agreement for all of you. Like we are going to read this. We are going to, to write this. Right. But I, I just need you to, to, to focus on ideas. Try to share ideas. And today you are going to write your because mm -hmm. it's writing, right? What you are going to do, mm -hmm. not speaking, writing. So you are going to write the introduction. So one paragraph introduction and another paragraph, uh, bo a body paragraph. So two paragraphs for today. You have 10 minutes to do that, okay? According to what you have there in the WhatsApp group and also what you have there in um, uh, what, you, uh, what you heard about the, the listening, okay? Tomorrow I'm going to play the listening again. And we are going to finish with two other paragraphs tomorrow, and that's it. So today I need only two paragraphs, okay? Yes. And tomorrow other two. Yes. Um, sorry, teacher. But uh, today we we will discuss about the paragraph that it refers to the deforestation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So about the uh, deforestation, about what you read. And you need to in start writing introduction. Okay, let's say, Miguel, what do you think is important or, or what will be the main idea, right? Because in the introduction paragraph, in the first paragraph, we need to say the, the main idea, right? Okay, I think that the main idea is this. Okay, so let's start writing, okay? And in the reading passage or uh, uh, the forestation is this and this and this, okay? So, okay, now in the second paragraph, right? What, what were we going to write in the second paragraph, Myra? Okay, Myra, uh, and Myra says, for example, I'm going to, let, I think that this part is important, right? This is this man, according to my notes, because you took notes, right? So since you took notes, um, you can add this in this paragraph. You can add that in that paragraph. Okay, and someone, probably one person can write a whole paragraph or the two paragraphs, one person, and then the rest will be able to see it, right? So uh, check what you have. This is just for sharing ideas. 
try to finish today. If you don't finish, it's okay because tomorrow you will have more time to finish, to edit, but tomorrow you will have to finish it, okay? Yes. Another question? <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. Yes. I have no clear. We have to work for two paragraphs or just for the one? Introduction and another one, a body paragraph. Two paragraphs. Okay. Today, two okay. paragraphs. Tomorrow. About, about all the reading. The reading and the listening. Remember that you are going to contrast the listening also, right? For that's that's important why you take notes. I'm going to play the listening tomorrow also, okay? But in the reading is saying one thing and in the listening is saying the opposite, probably another idea. So you can you have to say that in the in the reading is talking about deforestation is good, for example. It's an example, Jen. For deforestation is good for this, for this, for this. But in the reading is saying that is not good because of this, of this, and this. So you mm -hmm. see, you have one paragraph there. Okay, I have to, the reading and the listening is the different opinions, right? I'm exactly. sorry because I relate to the class teacher yeah. and I just, I don't I have the reading. Exactly, exactly. So probably somebody, Miguel or Myra, they have notes. And then you can share uh, in the in the listening, they were saying this, they were saying that, right? So it's, it's the opposite. So we can write about that, right? So, so that's why I, I you have a group for you to help each other, okay? Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, people, help me because I arrive late to class. The connection ideas. with all the ideas. But I'm not sure what do you think about it. Hello, we were Barbara. trying to share the screens if we couldn't. You, you, what, what is the message that you have there? No, that we were trying to, to share the screen to start writing the ideas and we couldn't. Okay, let me see here. So we were asking. Okay. Yes, I, actually, Katia right, wrote in the WhatsApp group, but I was checking here what was the problem because in previous classes, they were able to do it in other classes but I don't know why you can't. Do you have any error, error message or something like that? It says el anfitrión inhabilitó la función para compartir las pantallas. Damn. <laughs> but the okay. participants can turn, say. <laughs> yes. Let me see right now if I can do something about that. Let me see, okay? Okay. I guess the time is running in good. We are not finishing the the task so maybe we have to work later and <laughs> have ready for tomorrow the, the two paragraphs the topic was about or the reading and the listening was about the forestation mm -hmm. Yes, we need to start writing right now, people. You have yeah. only five minutes. You yeah. only have five minutes to finish two paragraphs, okay? If you don't finish today, you will have tomorrow. But if you don't finish the paragraph, you will have to uh, uh, write very fast tomorrow. I'm checking right now about sharing the screen, okay? I'm checking it. I begin or I propose to start writing this way. Nowadays, many people are concerned about the forestation. Now, in this line, we are saying uh, the idea that we got from the reading and the listening. And then we can add like a definition or, or another detail about what we understood. I don't know if you agree with me. I said, nowadays, many people are concerned about deforestation and then maybe we can say like a reason why or another uh, detail about what we have understood 
What do you think? I think it's is why a uh, population is, is rising and uh -huh. and people um need built houses. And they could. So uh, maybe we can say this way. Um, one reason. Well, the human activity is increasing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they need. So we need more space and more materials for for the development uh, of the activities. Yes. So if we say uh, one of the reasons for practicing the foreign station, Sergio said the, for the increase increase of human activity so we need more space mm -hmm. and more uh, materials to use like um, in, in say, human or, activities like um, human activity in general uh, activity. Uh, commerce and the uh, build the the construction housing, housing yeah mm -hmm. uh, 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 work tools uh, I'm, I don't I'm not sure what else the dangers the agriculture for the ah for uh, for for the agriculture uh -huh. yeah. for right. crop for crop yeah yeah Space for crop, farmland, land, land for crops, farmland, farmland for crops, yes. Uh, yeah. In etc. Now in you can share the those screen. kind of activities. You can share the screen, but it's a negative to go effect back, okay? in the forest. Okay, teacher. Thank you. In that kind of activities. Uh, produce a negative effects uh, in the <laughs> the tiny city in the forest. <laughs> yes. The, repeat that. Many land to produce. Yes. yes. The thing is that in in o sea, you need you need to to increase the the economy the um, industry and something about for to benefit the people but in the other hand is like a sacrifice sacrifice one thing for another thing because if you if you cut down all the trees maybe the water is going to be um Less water. Uh huh. The water because you know that the trees, the trees provide the water, and the water is important for the people. But the people sometimes uh, have. I'm sorry. We have to go yeah. out the room. It's, it's important uh, result is abundance of farmland. Okay, welcome back. How are you? Did you finish the paragraph? <laughs> no, right? Did you write one paragraph? At least one? No, right. <laughs> okay, what we are going to do is that tomorrow we are going to uh, we are going to do like an, a small essay, right? For the first question. So introduction, body paragraph, and conclusion. Okay. Probably when you practice more because you are working with other people, it will be easier for you, right? Probably uh, if you work at home, if you start practicing at home, it will be easier for you. But uh, right now, uh, we are going to keep it simple, okay? So introduction, body paragraph, and conclusion, okay? Only three paragraphs, that's it. Because I know that la time is, it's really difficult to work with time and it's very limited, the time that we have. So probably um, that would be better. And remember this 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 feeling because remember that TOEFL also has times, right? 
also have time that we need to be very organized so we need we can finish on time everything so tomorrow we are going to continue for the ones who were late uh, in the class try to be on time we are going to start at 7 55 and I'm, I'm going to explain a little bit at the beginning eh, always and around 8 20 i'm going to play the audio again and then you are going to finish the essay okay so we are not going to write four paragraphs only three paragraphs introduction body paragraph and conclusion remember that okay so tomorrow we are going to continue that i will give you some tips i just wanted to feel like if if it was difficult or if it was um, not that easy for you to to write the paragraph and uh, remember that you can check the the notes and okay also you can check the writing you can check the the screenshot right that's no problem do you have any question right now preguntas i have all the questions <laughs> all the que how to write an essay right Please. i'm still afraid i i start the course afraid and i finish the course afraid teacher. yeah and it's normal <laughs> it's normal because you know how you are going not to be afraid by practicing okay one day one week probably four weeks is not going to be enough but with time i will practice tomorrow i will practice today then you are going to feel more prepared and more confident okay that's normal it's normal okay. so, <laughs> <Thanks>. you know, <laughs> thanks for your work teacher <laughs> yes it is true that's the truth so if you don't have more questions i will see you tomorrow at 7 55 and i will give you some tips in the first 20 or 30 minutes and then I will give you 30 minutes for you to finish the essay. Whatever you have, you are going to send it to me, okay? You can send it uh, to the WhatsApp group as a document, and I will read it, and I will give you the feedback, okay? So I will Just see you. Before, before to, uh, to let the class, I want to ask you yes. if we're going to work on different topics uh, every day, or we're going to continually develop on the same topic. Um, since it is one essay, we are going to work on one topic, the same topic, okay? So it's the, the same topic that we start today, we continue tomorrow. After. Tomorrow, tomorrow, okay. and we finish. Then okay. on the third class, we're going to have another topic, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. thank you. So tomorrow we finish this essay, okay? Have a nice evening. Okay, good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night everybody. Good night, bye. Good night, bye. 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 Thank you.